Hey, it's Alan Simpson. Welcome. It's going to be a quick video on using Font Awesome icons in your website. Um, we'll just use any old web page. I'll start with a blank page with just the basic tags in it. You'll need an internal or external style sheet. I'll use an internal here just so the code's all in one file. In real life, it would probably be an external style sheet. Then go out to Google or whatever and search for Font Awesome CDN. If you're looking for this one, it says Bootstrap CDN by Mac CDN Font Awesome. We're not going to use Bootstrap, but we'll use the Font Awesome. And here it is here. You just want to click above where it says click to copy, and that'll copy it. And then go back to your page and right under the opening style tag, type at import, at sign import, space, URL, open paren, closing paren, and inside the paren put a pair of quotation marks. And then in between the quotation marks, paste in that URL you just copied. And then put in a semicolon at the very end. Okay, so what that that's going to import those fonts so that they're accessible to your CSS. And there's different ways you can use that. For starters, we'll use a social media icon. Let's say I want to make a link to my Twitter page. I want to show a Twitter icon. I'll browse out to my Twitter page and grab the URL for that page. Go back to my web page and in the body of the page put an ahref equal quote quote and I'll paste in that URL to my Twitter page. Then I'll close off the quotation marks and the A tags. So now I just have a basic link, a standard HTML link. But there's nothing between the A tags, so if I open the page in a browser, I'll see nothing. To find the font awesome icon for that, I'm going to go out and search for font awesome Twitter icon, I guess. Usually you can find it pretty quick. Uh, let's see, this is actually their Twitter page, I think. Oh, here we go. F.A. Twitter font awesome icons. It's always going to be F.A. hyphen something, and there's the name right there. I want to grab that name, F.A. hyphen Twitter. F.A. stands for font awesome. Okay, I'm going to copy that name, F.A. hyphen Twitter, just so I don't have to retype it. Um, and I will go back to my code. And then inside that opening A tag still, I want to type class equal, quote, quote, and then you put F.A. for font awesome, a space, and then the name of the specific character or icon you want to show, which I just discovered is F.A. Twitter. So if I go out to the page in the browser now, refresh, I should see that character. And it's underlined because it's a link. It's kind of small, kind of ugly but we haven't done much styling with it yet. Before we do that, let's go ahead and grab a couple others. I'm going to pop out to my uh, Facebook page and grab the URL for that. All right, and then I will um, go back to my code and another ahref equal, quote, quote, put in that URL, uh, class equal, I just take a while, guess, and say F-A space F-A hyphen Facebook. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I can just go look it up. I'll just guess that it's F-A hyphen Facebook. All right, so let me go back to my page in my browser. And there's the Facebook F next to the Twitter tweet bird. All right. Still kind of ugly, but we'll get to that later. Let's do one more. I'm going to do my LinkedIn page. I'll just browse out there, make sure I don't um, get the link wrong. Okay, um, right here, I'll just grab that URL and I'll do the same thing again. Um, a href equal, quote, quote, stick in that URL. I'm going to say class equal, quote, quote, and inside the quotes, fa space, and then fa hyphen. I'm just going to guess it's LinkedIn one word. Okay, I might be wrong there, but again, we can just go look it up if I'm wrong. All right, so back in the browser. Now, I'm not saving my work here because I have autosave on. If you didn't, weren't doing it that way, you'd have to save all the time. But if once the, it is saved and the page is refreshed, okay, now you can see the IN for LinkedIn. Now, you might be thinking, all right, so I have FA and then FA hyphen name. What's, what, what good is the FA? 
The FA is actually kind of a handle for styling it. If I put a dot .fa style rule in here now, I could say something like the font size is, uh, I don't know, maybe 36 points. All right. A refresh. Ah, oh, bigger. Uh, ugly, but bigger. Uh, let's say text dash decoration colon none. We'll get rid of the underscores. Better. How about the color of some dark gray, like hex code? Oh, I don't know. Maybe uh, DDD. Something like that. Yeah, that's good. I mean, you could go zero, zero, zero for black. And then I'll do the letter spacing and, I don't know, maybe f uh, 15 pixels. Separate them out a little more. Nah, I think it's going to need a little more than that. But anyway, you can see how easy it is to style these things from this one little FA style rule. So now I have the three icons there and um, they're nicely sized and positioned. Right now, if this was going to be at the bottom of my page, you know, I could put them inside some kind of block like a footer, and then say inside that block just text align colon center everything, and then they'd be centered within that block. Okay. Now you can also use these little icons as list markers. I mean, you can use it any place you use any character. But if you want to do a list marker, you could do something like UL class equal and then just make up some class name. I'll use thumbs up. All right, and then I'll just put in a few list items. Type that up real quick. I'll speed that up. You don't want to watch me type. And then when I go refresh the page in the browser, it looks like any list. All right, so let's replace those bullets with something from Font Awesome. All right, first I'll put a UL dot, what I call thumbs up, for the list as a whole. Okay. And then, oops, get that space out of there. UL.thumbsup. And I'll say uh, list-style-type colon none. And that should get rid of all the markers on there. None. All right, reload. All right, so now I got rid of the bullets. And now I'll write a little bit of code to uh, use a fun, awesome thing. So again, it's UL.thumbsup, I called it. I'm going to space, and I'm going to say li colon before. All right? And then uh, open curly, closing curly. And font hyphen family colon is going to be font awesome, spelled as one word. And now that's just the font. For the specific character, you have to say content colon. And then you're going to follow that with the Unicode or hex code, you can think of it, for the specific character. And that's going to be enclosed in quotation marks. And we can go look that up like any other. For example, let me say uh, font awesome um, thumbs up icon or thumbs, thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up, font awesome. I'll click that. And right here, See, there's the name thumbs up, but here this number I want for the content, and it's F164. So I'll go back to my code and in, we'll put in a quotation marks that uh, number. Don't forget the semicolon at the end. Oh, yeah, and the, you have to precede the number with a backslash. Now, when I refresh, I get nothing, little unknown characters. And that is because. I misspelled font awesome. All right, let me correct that. Go back and refresh. And now each one has a little thumbs up. Okay, and now again, we can style to our heart's content. Um, this is for each character here, the style rule. So I can start, you know, styling to taste. I can say font size is, oh, I don't know, 18 points. Um, I can say... Uh, the color is something uh, not quite that dark, you know, maybe another 555, 444 kind of gray color. Better, but still kind of ugly. How about a margin zero at the top, four pixels to the right to put some space to the right. 
zero at the bottom, and left we could actually use a negative number and shoot them out to the left maybe. Um, let's try minus 20px or 20 points or something. It'll take a while, I guess. Now that's starting to look better. That little extra gap after the thumb is better. In fact, we can move that up to 8 pixels. I think that looks better. All right. So anyway, you can just style away to your heart's content, whatever works for you. And you can uh, make an LI style rule. In fact, I'll copy this and it'll be UL dot thumbs up space LI. So that applies to each list item as a whole. And we'll say the margin bottom of each of those is like 20 pixels. Well, that will actually push them all down, space them out more. That's a little bit too much. How about 10 pixels? But that's how you can control the distance between and put a bottom margin on each LI. All right. And now if you want to refine the position of this thumb thing, you can use position relative. And then if you put top, like four pixels, it'll move it down four pixels. Or I could put top minus four pixels, it would move it up four pixels. So you can fine tune its position by making it relative position and playing with the top. All right, and again, whatever works for you, you know, whatever size, whatever combination works for you. So anyway, so those are some Good ideas for using Font Awesome in creative ways in your website. I'll make sure you have access to this whole page so you can, you know, copy and paste into your own code as you see fit. Thanks for watching. See you around the net.